Holy shit, man! Holy shit! Hold on, I'm coming! Dude, I think these guys want to eat us! You okay? One of those psychos tried to bite me, but yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Well, we can't just stay out here in the open, that's for damn sure. Ranger station? Ranger station. Maybe we can find some help there. Wait, what the hell, man? We're gone two weeks and what? Everybody takes up cannibalism? Bees me. Hold up. Shit, these guys look messed up too. Yeah. Stay low and keep quiet. Maybe we can get past them without being spotted. Help me move this against the wall. We need to clear a space for the wounded. Wendell, start doing an inventory. Man, can anybody tell me what the hell is going on? What's going on is there's more of them up here than I expected. We need to sweep the rest of the cabins for survivors. But I've got injured people here I have to tend to. Okay, we'll see what we can do. We will? I appreciate it. There's a water tower out back that has a good view of the campgrounds. Might be worth your while to climb up there and have a look around first. We've got some supplies in the locker over there. Take what you need and stay safe out there.
It's another beautiful day. See you around. Looks like a good vantage point up there. I'm there. Gonna take a look around. Guess that's all there is to see. You hear that? Gunshots. Yeah. Guess we're not the only ones having a bad day. Not alone in here. Okay. You mean aside from being lost in the woods, attacked by psychopaths, and watching two of my best friends die? Yeah, I'm Peachy. Sorry I asked. So, is it this bad everywhere? Man, I hope not. We got some survivors back at the ranger station that seem to know what's going on. But we didn't have time for orientation. Well then, let's get the hell back there. Love the idea, but uh, we got kind of... volunteered to check a couple other places for survivors first. Just think of it as payback for the time that you volunteered us for the running of the bulls in Pamplona. Okay then. You want to take point, or should I? You want to know what worries me? They're setting up an infirmary in there. Like, why aren't they taking these people to a hospital or something? I don't know, man. The whole situation's pretty messed up. You think? What's next? Razor wire and guard towers? That's not a bad idea, actually. We need to make things safer around here.
I need a breather. What the hell? I thought you said you had survivors holed up in here. They were fine just a minute ago. Well, obviously not anymore. Guys, guys, come on. We gotta at least check the place. Somebody might have survived. <sighs> He's gone. Yeah. Poor bastard. Well, let's see if he's got a wallet on him or something. What the hell, Ed? To check his ID, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> get it off! Get it off! Get it off! Help! <laughs> that guy was dead. I swear to God, that guy, he was dead. How the hell does that happen? I don't know, man. Doesn't make sense. We can't stay here. Come on, let's grab what we can and get moving. Where'd you come from, anyways? Me and a couple guys from the unit came up here to do some deer hunting. Are you in the army? You don't miss much, do you? Anyway, we were on our way back when these psychos rushed us out of goddamn nowhere. What happened? You see me? You see Coltner Strand? Do the math. So, where are we going? I don't know. I guess we just head to town and try to find... somebody. <clears throat> yeah, or... or... Well, I kind of took that guy's walkie-talkie. Maybe we can raise somebody on that. Jesus, Ed, why did you do that? I don't know. I figured if he had a radio, there must be somebody on the other end. So you robbed a dead guy, and you expect his friends to help us out? Wait, who says they're his friends? I mean, maybe they didn't even really like the guy. Dad? Dad, are you there? Oh, shit. Uh, hello? Can you hear me? Who is this? Listen, we're stuck up here on Mount Tanner. My friend needs medical attention. Can you help us? Can you make it down to Spencer's Mill? Some of us are holed up at the church. If your friend doesn't look too dicey, we'll let you in. The church in Spencer's Mill. We're on our way. We'll, uh... Try not to look too dicey. Looks like trouble up ahead there. Whoa! 
Well, listen, asshole. All right, we, we don't want any trouble. Coming! Coming! I don't know, mate. Looks like we could climb up over here, maybe? Coming. A little busy for that, don't you think? <coughs> we're headed your way. You said you were a holdup in a church? What the hell's happening around here? You haven't heard? No. Better deal with this first. No cell reception at the lake. Guess you could say we've been out of the loop. All we know is a bunch of crazy people tried to eat us. It started, what, 12, 13 days ago? At first it was just weird stories on the news. Random maulings, violent incidents at hospitals, black helicopters in the sky, just strange stuff. I guess they were trying to keep it quiet, but that didn't last too long. People figured it out pretty quick. People who die, they don't stay dead. They come back as one of those things. I told you that guy was dead. Seems like the only way to stop them for good is with a shot to the head. Anything else, they just keep coming. So you're saying those things are... zombies? I don't know. Maybe it's some kind of messed up super virus. Maybe it's radiation from outer space. Or black magic. Or, or the wrath of almighty frickin' God. Your guess is as good as mine. So, wait a minute. What's the government response to all this? Haven't they sent in the National Guard or something? The government? You don't get it. It's been total chaos. At first, they told us just to stay home, lock our doors, and wait for the all clear. Then the power died. No one ever sounded the all clear.
how'd you end up on this frequency? Just lucky, I guess. It was pretty chaotic up at the lake. You're not gonna tell her? I don't know yet. Dude, it's her dad! You want to confess that we killed her father and stole his radio before they patch you up? Yeah, okay, maybe, maybe we leave that part out. these strangers good you made it that one doesn't look so good name's Ed pleased to meet you come with me son we'll see to those wounds. god damn it we got enough trouble without bringing in another freeloader to use up all our medicine real nice Alan I offered them shelter I'm letting them in us freeloaders have to stick together girls got the common sense God gave a tree stump you're worse than your brother. Come on, I'll give you the nickel tour. I spend most of my time here, using the radio to coordinate everyone. Next up's the kitchen. Sam's our unofficial in-house chef, but... Well, there's only so much anybody can do with canned soup and pork rinds. Seriously, though. Rule number one, all the food stays in here and it stays sealed. You wouldn't believe how fast rats get into things otherwise. We learned that one the hard way. Sleeping quarters? Uh, hope you don't mind sharing. We're pretty tight on space here. Alan's been saying we should move to someplace bigger, but my dad's a carpenter, and he says we could build like a dorm room or something to get more space. How many people do you have here? I think you've met just about everybody, except maybe my brother and my dad. They're out scouting for supplies, I think, and I haven't heard from them in a while. Rest easy, son. How do you feel? Like somebody took a weed whack in my fucking neck. We may have something here for the pain, but I'm more concerned about this fever. It could be a sign of infection. We'll need to get Dr. Hansen out here. I'll see if I can get him on the radio. Hey, thanks. I, uh, I appreciate the hospitality. Do not forget to entertain strangers, for by so doing, some have unwittingly entertained angels. How about that? I might be an angel. Look, I, I didn't want to say this in front of your friend, but fever is a bad sign, especially after a bite. Pastor Will's going to try and get Doc Hansen to come down and take a look at him, but if he doesn't get some antibiotics, he's probably not going to make it. If it comes to that, I promise Alan will take care of him. Bullet to the brain before he turns. It's for the best. Jesus, Lily. He's not a rabid dog. Don't you get it? More of us didn't make it than did. We can't be soft-hearted about this. Not anymore. We need medicine here anyway. You can't be sick. You understand? No one can be sick. So that's it, huh? Nice to meet you. Would you prefer to be shot in the face or kicked out on your asses? No, it's... <sighs> okay, look. We're barely hanging on here as it is. Medicine was some of the first stuff to run out. We don't have any to spare for your friend. I'm sorry. That's just the way it is. What if I find some more? Will that help pay our rent? 
Yeah, okay, sure. If you can find a place to get more medicine, I'll make sure your friend has a place to stay. His name is Ed. I know. If you need to resupply before you head out, check the locker. Nobody minds if you're getting shit done and you need extra stuff. Just don't take shit you haven't earned. Here. I'm confused. There's a cell tower behind the swine and bovine. From up there, you should be able to get a good look at the town. Maybe you'll spot some place to find medicine. Thank you. Just hurry, okay? I'm not sure how long I can rein Alan in. Of dumbasses? What the hell did they think was gonna happen? Don't know. If we don't get some more food soon, we're gonna start having riots. How did you all end up at the church anyways? Geez, I don't know. At first it just seemed like the place to go, you know? End of the world and all that. Then we started hearing about how bad it was getting. Other people tried to go it alone and it ended up... Well, we just sort of stayed here after that. Just the six of you? No. There used to be twelve of us. sidelines up there. I'm there. Gonna take a look around. located a zombie infestation.
Hey, what's that? Looks like a vet's office or something. Oh yeah, Dr. Gilroy's clinic. What about it? Well, antibiotics for dogs aren't any different than antibiotics for people, and it looks like no one's broken in. <laughs> That's a good idea. Okay, sounds like it's worth checking out. I'm picking something up. We've had enough of being on our own. We'd love to join you if you'll have us. You might want to go check it out. I'm sending Alan and Sam to meet you at the clinic. Alan? Gee, thanks. It was that, or let him stay here and keep grumbling about kicking you and Ed out. Point. Check this out next. Copy that. Hey! No sign of him here either. Come on then. I'll help you track him down. Let's get going. Hello? Don't let it get up! <laughs> 
I'll run this home. We'll see you soon. Better keep moving. We got zombies behind us. Time to move on. Anybody home? Anybody in here? Enough time to move on. Area secure. No Zeds here. Hello? I don't have enough space for this. Consider this one searched. I'm lucky they didn't hear that. Keep moving. We got zombies behind us. Heads up. Got zombie activity at three o'clock. <laughs> 
Keep your eye on our right. We've got zombies incoming. Anybody home? Oh, thank God. Time to go home. Okay. I think I'm ready to head home now. Got this place locked down. Damn, I'm tired. Damn, I'm tired. Looks like trouble up ahead there. Hey, I thought I was dead. Hey, how are you? How's it going? How's it going? What's up? We're lucky we aren't dead already, and we owe a lot of that to you. Any chance you'd have some space for us? Well?
kiss my ass. Hey, how are you? favor and don't come driving up like a dumbass. What Alan's trying to say is cars make noise. Zeds like noise. Plus, they don't exactly go on trees, and we only got so much fuel to keep running. So we gotta be careful about when we use it. What did I say? No cars. About time you showed up. Let's get this show on the road. You're the newbie, so you get a bust in the window. The door will make less noise. Or, hey, you could do it like a total fucking idiot. Up to you. Just get us inside. Take this. Gonna need it soon. Your eye on our right. All right, hop to it. Let's get this done and get the hell out. Try to keep the zombies outside, huh? And who the hell put you in charge? How about years of experience on the beat, huh? How's that grab you? I didn't realize the Department of Fish and Wildlife counted as a beat. Laugh if you want. I'm still the only law enforcement officer on duty in this town. Yeah, and if we gotta deal with any zombie trout, you'll be the first motherfucker I call. Goddamn motherfucking piece of shit! What's wrong? Hole in the fucking red set! So tape it shut and keep loading. <laughs> Got that one! Let's hoof it, people. Stay low and stay quiet. Bad enough, we gotta make this charity run. Let's not waste all our damn ammo to boot. I wanna swing wide. We got zombies to the lift. I'm loaded up. See you back at base. We'll be ready. Something. 
Something's still moving around in here. Area secure. No Zeds here. We got Zeds at nine o'clock. I'll run this home. We'll see you soon. I'll run this home. We'll be ready. What did I say? No cars. Hey, dipshit. We're trying to be sneaky here. Might as well just ring the dinner bell. That's better. Come on, let's do this. Okay, now try to listen this time. We go forward on foot. Try to keep out of their line of sight. Zeds will come check out just about anything louder than a solid smack on the head. But their eyesight's for shit. If they can't see you, they can't eat you. Will you two shut up and get moving? I'm not getting paid to babysit. Well, excuse me out of hell for trying to keep a newbie alive. Keep an eye on our six. Watch the right. Motherfuck, this piece of shit rucksack's coming apart at the seams. This rate, I'm gonna lose half this shit before we get home. I'll go find us a ride. <laughs> no, goddammit! The cars are too dangerous. Just leave it. Kiss my ass, Alan. Lily needs these minutes. Fuck you. Get your ass back here, Alan. Alan! God damn it! Come on, let's find a ride and get this shit home.
Cover me. So, Alan, huh? Yes. He's a shithead, but look on the bright side. He's only about half as stupid as he looks. Plus, he's not half bad in a fight. Sit tight. I'm bringing this stuff home. Roger that. We'll be waiting. I'll run this home. We'll be ready. I'm almost... Thanks for the ride. We'll take it from here. There you go. Don't say I never gave you nothing. Mm, what you got? Oh, you know, stuff. We got your cycle for phosphamide, Lily. I didn't see any of that meth or whatever. Hey, you said we were getting antibiotics for Ed. Relax. We got those too. What the hell is going on here? Okay, okay, look. I've got this condition. Lupus? It's chronic. No cure. Without medication, your friend needs antibiotics. I need medicine, so I kinda sent you to a place you might find both. So, you used me. I didn't th Just let me know when you find the doc. a lot of stuff lately and something occurred to me we don't know squat wait what i mean when it comes to long-term survival like i've got my dad's old notebooks and i'm sure some people here have at least worked on a farm but if we had reference material we could do a whole lot more what happened well since we don't have the internet anymore i'm thinking we should start assembling a reference library books on gardening electrical engineering carpentry anything we can get our hands on we gotta start somewhere, right? God bless. Hey, you. 